Smith & Wesson MP45, supposedly this has a really shitty trigger. The last gun I thought was supposed to have the shitty trigger turned out that that had the good trigger, which was really good. So now we will see how shitty this Smith & Wesson trigger is. Here we go. Out of the box, nothing done to it. I'm blaming every little bit of this on a shitty trigger. <laughs> and then kind of me too, so you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah the trigger kind of sucks, I'll admit yeah. to that. It's a hard pull. Um, I even flinched on the first uh, first uh, pull because you, uh, I expected feel, it to go off. Could you feel a reset? No. Yeah, it, that's what I don't like about it at all. Yeah, so. I can deal with the heavy pull as long as there was a good reset. Yeah, yeah, no, you've definitely got to get the trigger job on this gun for sure. Well, let's load up the other 40 uh, MMP and uh, you can do a comparison on her. Where's that at? It should be right on the edge there. And don't shoot two feet high like I did. All right, guys, so I'm going to be shooting HK45 uh, shooters uh, MMP 40C. Uh, supposedly, this has a really good trigger on it. Um, so let's do a little comparison of the, uh, of the uh, MMP 45. And what's the name of this trigger? Apex trigger. An apex trigger, okay. <laughs> that reset is very short. I like it a lot, but it would take some getting used to. That that last shot went off like boom. Yeah. So yeah, that's amazing. You'll double tap without even was wanting that, to double tap. That first yep. double tap was an unplanned one. Yeah, it was an unplanned <laughs> one. <laughs> MP forty C, the Apex trigger. Let's see what we can do here. Nice. Did it? Dude, you were all over it. 